Hi guys. My last video was taken down by those free speech advocates over at YouTube. Uh, it simply followed what is a tradition of fair usage of existing news footage for the purpose of satire. And once again, this video too will follow that same principle. So we're going to see now if YouTube is moving into a whole new era of clamping down on free speech. So let's get started. My guest today is none other than that wealthiest of self-styled philanthropists, Mr. Bill Gates. Now, Bill, I just want to assure you that in keeping with the tradition of mainstream news, I intend to kiss your ass and ignore most of the obvious facts. Even to the point of forgetting everything we know about you and your, your endless quest for power and influence. Thank you. I mean, no one wants to piss you off, even if you are only the second richest man in the world now after, you know. But to your credit, I, I think you're well on the way to, to leaving that Bezos guy in the dust with your latest plan to create a worldwide vaccine monopoly that will be mandated through fear and intimidation. Let's talk a little bit on how that's coming along. You've been laying the groundwork for this strategy for many years, uh, investing hundreds of millions into purchasing the, the WHO and other key mouthpieces needed to dupe the population into compliance. Now, a key goal of this entire operation was to reduce the global population to poverty by destroying the economy. Is that correct? How's all that been working out compared to your, your business projections? I would say that the economic damage uh, is much greater. Uh, I put $3 trillion for a respiratory virus spreading around the globe, and you know clearly we're going to go well beyond that. Oh, yes, indeed. Even the IMF says that you've managed to, to throw the world into the next Great Depression, not worse. Do you think that maybe your solution, though, may cause death and misery on a scale even greater than your, your now proven rigged models predicted? Haven't there been multiple studies over the last century linking unemployment with uh, higher suicide, death rates, and disease? Could it be that many, many more will die as a result of your lockdown recommendations and the, the immense damage caused to the economy? Uh, I'm not a, as deep an expert on that as I am on, on vaccines. Well, many of us have trouble understanding how a man who was such an expert on economics and market manipulations, that he created a monopoly uh, which made him the richest man on the planet once, to the, to the point where decades of antitrust legal actions uh, were required to put a stop to it. Okay, sorry, sorry. Let's, let's talk about your vaccine. The vaccine is, is critical because until you have that, things aren't really going to be normal. So besides the obvious uh, immense profits you will make in the future, uh, basically forcing billions of people to require it. For now, you can hold it off uh, to a later date, thereby, thereby keeping the population under control by, by not opening up the lockdown. They can open up to some degree, but if you had just a three-month period uh, of extreme shutdown... That's enough time to irreversibly damage the global economy, so that people won't have any real power to, to stop you any longer. That's, that's really ingenious, Bill. Thank you. Isn't it likely to be remembered, though, as the, the most catastrophic damage ever wrought by a single man, uh, even, even being perhaps the, the greatest criminal act in, in history? Well, again, I'm not a, as deep an expert on that as I am on, on vaccines. In a, in a recent CNN interview, you were asked about the fact that your company, Microsoft, uh, has weathered through this whole event basically unscathed. Let's, let's have a look at that. Yeah, are you surprised that Microsoft, for example, is trading at the same price that it was in December uh, before, you know, the coronavirus? You know, tech companies uh, in some ways benefit from an acceleration of a move towards digital approaches. So, you know, if there's any sector of the economy where you could say, okay, it's not that drastic of a change, you'd probably pick that. But again, valuations is not the, uh, where I add, add the most value. 
you do have an economy that's going to be, be operating at a lower level, and that affects all sorts of spending. There's no doubt that'll be the case uh, for years to come, uh, and so that you know uh, should affect overall valuations. Well, let me just congratulate you and your success uh, in this rollout of something you've spent so many years and considerable uh, amounts of wealth on. Some of us journalists are actually wondering if perhaps uh, you're going to provide some place for us uh, in the bunkers when things really hit the fan. I mean, things could get pretty dangerous for us uh, out here when, when people figure out that we've been accomplices to this whole thing. Okay, okay, well, just thought I'd ask, uh, and, and just to show you uh, our good intentions, we're going to keep right on shilling for you as usual. So, so Bill, I'll just wrap it up by saying thank you uh, so much for your precious time and uh, incredible philanthropic work. Thank you.